guys, it's Avi, and in today's video I want to discuss some useful prints and what they do and like how much time it took, a little more about them. These are some of them and I'm going to pull out some more, so stay tuned. We'll go by this phone stand, I thought it was kind of cute how it looks like a post-it note. And it holds your phone vertically and horizon or horizontally, but you won't be able to charge it. But it's still great for like watching a movie or putting it down and if you don't want it to rest on the table. And it fits, uh, there are three sizes to this and I'm going to try to post all the links. I pick, pick the middle size because my phones are, it's a pretty standard. And then, uh, let me get another phone to show you how it'll work. Stuck my old Asus Zenfone 2 phone on there. It's pretty stable. And you could also stick it like this and watch a movie. Uh, we're going to put that aside to discuss the other things. This is an SD card holder. Felt like I needed one because I don't want to leave it in my laptop all the time. And I don't want to leave it on the ground or just on the table. So let's take it out. It, it was a pretty tight fit in the beginning. But I got to work. And here is what it actually looks like. And you can see how these pieces are like floating on nothing. So in reality... It printed supports were just like a little cube below there. It took a while to pick them off, but I ended up doing it. And then this was actually fitting evenly, but it's supposed to kind of be slightly flexible and be able to move. And then you just stick a SD card in there. And then if you really want to, you could put it on a keychain. Next up would be these two. They're meant as laptop stands. They don't they don't work amazingly well, but they're all right because they're generic. It was designed for my Acer laptop or a sim similar model, but the problem is that the uh, lighting and the mess of the cords. So it fits all right. You need to have both of them on the same size, but the problem is like if one moves and the laptop could fall, and if this one moves a little bit, it could hit the power switch. So they're average, and I use it when. I know my laptop's gonna be hotter, it's very hot outside, to increase the airflow. There's a little bit of space down there, and hopefully it'll improve important performance as well. Amazing angle, but next is this zipper cover. And my zipper piece actually fell off, so I printed this one. And it's decently flexible, but this is PLA plastic, which it gets flexible, but to a point it'll just crack. So you just need to be aware of it, but it was a pretty cheap part to print because it's it barely uses any filament and it only took about 20 minutes and it works very well almost as well as the original zipper and shopping carts in the united states and some other countries they have this coin inserter so you put a quarter or like a euro in and then the cart unlocks and then you can take it with you and then the coin is stuck there as a kind of deposit until you uh, return the card and push this pin in so you put the coin into the cart and then it pushes the other pin out so the cart's free and then you could either leave the, this in here connected to either your keychain or just there or the alternative would be to pull it out which it just requires a bit of fiddling around but it works so this was my second design of it and I actually made these myself. This was my first design when I was starting 3D printing. And when I was learning the first software that, that does CAD computer aided design. So you'll see I put my name on it, bossed it, and then there's an issue with the layers. This layer and this layer aren't this like they're not flat and also they're I so and fill too low, I think like fifteen percent or maybe even less so there's some uh what it looks like but and this was also the first filament that actually came with the printer surprisingly the filament's not too bad and this is still stable and i printed it pretty thick but it's it's a little more than the thickness of a size of a coin just because the printer doesn't it's not perfect in its measurements and then i actually never some people say that if you print a keychain then it'll eventually break or wear off, but this one never did. And then I decided to update the design. So this is just a dummy because it's not, not as thick, but I just wanted to see how it would work. And this was printed in Fusion, made in Fusion 360. In a couple of minutes, I fixed the, the rounding or the fillet, they call it. 
and it's, it works about the, as well as the other options, but it requires less uh, less time to print and less filament. And I put them all on Thingiverse, so I decided to print these two. They're pretty popular in Thingiverse, and I think I shrunk them down a little because I didn't think they were that useful, but they were kind of cute. But I actually figured out so it makes a good bookmark. So you could just stick it like this and the feet will be outside. And this one also. Yeah. Just cute to have around. It, it's not the best because they could fall out easily, but the idea was that even from uh, an average printer like ours, which is a Prusa clone, it prints decently and you could actually use this as a nut and a bolt. Uh, but it also makes for like a decent fidget toy, so you could just go like this and just have it in your hand and roll it down and I just thought it would be something cool to print and there's a there's a whole set of different screws and washers and things that you could print and then you could size it down or you could have it match the size of a standard one and then you could kind of replace it I don't think it would be cheaper but it's good like if you either lost one or misplaced one it's a keyboard kickstand so I have a Logitech wireless keyboard and I've been using it for like a year or two now and it still performs well. But this is the original kickstand that came with it and it the other one broke. So I decided that I wanted to print one and also a benefit of printing one is that you could change the size slightly. So this one was slightly longer and the benefit is that it'll have like a more of an angle and this will be more raised and it might help your wrists. Uh, so these two I found online with the designs. They uh, This one came out alright so I printed another one but this one I don't know if it was the fault of the designer if it was just a print mess up but it kind of melted again and it got bent so I couldn't, I couldn't actually use this. And then I decided I might as well try to make my own so I copied the dimensions of this with my digital caliper ruler and then I put the measurements into Fusion 360 and then I made a simple design and it works as well as this one. See how there's a little more thickness. I thought it would be better. Uh, let's see if you could see that up close. There's a little uh, stand there to make it won't let me zoom in. There's a little piece here below this the cylinder and that allows for it to stick in place. It didn't come out so well in the 3D printing, so I'll either need to make it bigger or just figure a solution around it, but it works. And it works out with, well without it. And so I just made two and I printed them. Uh, you, s you might be able to see here that it didn't come out so well on this side. It was because I was using a raft due to poor bed leveling and not sticking. But it, it gets, it feels nice to the touch and it's going to be behind my keyboard the whole time, so it doesn't really matter. It's kind of flimsy also, so I'll need to make a redesign. I put the design on Thingiverse, but it wasn't the final one. Deal with this one, I made another video about it, so I'll link it. Basically, it's an earbud clip, and the design is made very well. So you could pinch it. And this is printed in one piece without any supports. So the guy pulled it off with that, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I'll put the link in the description and in the info bar. And I just want to ask you guys to like and subscribe to the video. And so you'll know when more come out and you could just support this channel. Thank you and bye.